I mean, it gets down to like 50 and I got to put on my muck lucks, Right? Man. Okay, we are moving right along because we have 50 minutes left and it will be two months before you'll see Mind Finds by Jay King again in a full show. Now we're going to give you something that truly I think every jewelry collection should have. I wish we had like 10,000 of these. We have 188. These are agates and carnelian so you're also getting the carnelian we took this down to 59.90 and it's under 30 dollars on your charge card to bring it home but the cool thing is jay we have green agate we have black agate and then we have the carnelian we have that rich orange carnelian and you know the cool thing about this is it's um as we think about classics and again tomorrow night on bejeweled we talk about classics this becomes a classic in your jewelry collection it's an updated classic no question about it, but because it's a beaded necklace, you're going to wear this when you want to look pulled together, when you want to look polished, when you want to look, you know, not over the top, but certainly you want to show what you love in beautiful jewelry. And I think it always amazes me because Jay has connections that literally no one else in the industry has when we can literally bring you this much gemstone weight, this much really gem intensive nature in a piece, and we can do it for under $60, Jay. Yeah. You know, we design these things literally. Uh, we get a lot of viewer, um, uh, you know, requests. We get a lot of uh, uh, viewers that, you know, that really, get, you know, it's really kind of cool because they'll kind of, um, so many people, they kind of let me know, oh, I'd like to see this, I'd like to see that. The reason we do this, kind of like a treasure necklace, but more contemporary, right? Um, we did the agates, but think about it, okay? The reason that actually we designed this is you're getting real material, real stone, real agate for the price of what you would be paying for plastic out for there, sure. right? And actually, I've seen a lot of plastic, like I said, I've been shopping here recently trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my anniversary. And so far, I've not been um, too successful. successful. <laughs> Um, so probably I'll make up some excuse and won't be there during that month. Um, I, I see a, a, another trip coming really quick that I just got called out really? on. Really? Something that is a true find you have to I've got to figure out something. Otherwise, I'm going to be in huge trouble. But I have to tell you, that's why we design these kind of things. And agates, just so you know, don't, don't think that this is an easy gig, okay? Agates are a blessing and they're a curse. They're, they're, they're a blessing. Here's why. They're hard. The harder the material, the better the polish it will take, and the polish will stay. Just like, you know, Damascus steel, like when you buy, uh, really spend a lot of money on a knife or something like that, or cutlery. The reason that you, that you buy Damascus is because it's so hard that you, it takes forever to get a, an edge on it. But once you get an edge, it stays forever, right? Uh, the same thing with agates. Once you get a polish on them, it stays, it, you know, in there. And, but it's difficult to get them. Cutting them, the only way you can cut them, diamond equipment. So, okay, you know yeah. what? This one's...